all right so I'm making this video to show you guys a uh, a good permanent fix for the whole Wi-Fi uh, the Wi-Fi issue on the new MacBook Pros where you connect the dongle up to there and you lose Wi-Fi connectivity well um, I'm going to show you right now the actual quick fix is a uh, ferrite choke that's all you really need snaps over it and I'll show you that's how that's done here in a second um, but I, I thought of this because there was a video I saw on YouTube and they used aluminum foil and I'm like you know that works and everything but kinda looks ghetto <laughs> you know like I, I want something that looks like a little bit you know better like you know it really doesn't matter it matters if it works or not but you know I just want something that looks a little a little bit more presentable you know um, but anyway just to show you the Wi-Fi is working right now uh, it's, it's not plugged in right now it's unplugged so I'm gonna turn Wi-Fi on and you're gonna see it's gonna connect here in a second so there you go it's connected up to my hotspot and uh, so I'll turn it back off and I will plug the dongle back into here alright it's connected so let's turn the Wi-Fi on and you're gonna see that It's not gonna. Oh well. Connected this time. Yeah, there's another thing where. <laughs> I know. Freaking uh, trying to show you a video and now it works. Kind of funny. But apparently, if you put it down like this, there's no interference. It's only only works if it's parallel. So let me redo that. I'm gonna turn the Wi-Fi back off, and I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna make it go straight here. See, it's nice and straight like that. So now, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't get connectivity. I'm going to turn it back on. That's another quick fix too. You could just put it 90, 90 degree, you know, 90 degree corner and it'll work. But now, you know, there we go. Not, not connecting, you know. And that's because it's causing interference to the Wi-Fi card, or, you know, the, the antenna. Now, these ferrite chokes I actually bought a while ago for an application to do with amateur radio, get uh, interference out of the lines and everything. So I had some of these laying around. You can pick these up on eBay. I got a pack of 20, all different sizes for 12 bucks. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can get them. But, so you see it's not connecting up to my phone. Try to do it again. It just doesn't want to connect. So I'm going to turn the Wi-Fi card back off. I'm going to unplug the dongle here. And I'm going to snap the ferrite choke on it. Try to get it. There we go, centered. All right, so it's snapped on just like that. I'm going to plug it back in. Make sure it's straight, just like how it was. Alright, so it's connected. Turn the Wi-Fi back on. And now we'll see if it's if it connects. There you go. Connected right there. So when I first did it, it's because it was down like this. And pretty much like it's not interfering with the antenna, because antennas pretty sure isn't back to the screen on these MacBooks. So when you have it straight like this, you get a lot of interference. It, you know, kind of radiates outward and pretty much goes to the antenna. When it's to the side, it's, you know, your cable's running this way, so it's kind of going out that way and not really towards the screen. So that's really how you eliminate that problem. Um, all you need is a ferrite choke. You know, I just found one that was right size in the pile I had and uh, works fine. You know, let me let me show you again. I'll turn it back off. 
and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll actually unplug it again. And I'll plug it back in. Make sure it's nice and straight like how it was before. Turn the Wi-Fi back on. There you go. It's working. And just to show you that it doesn't work without it, once more, just to show you guys I'm not BSing, you know, and that this is an actual solution to make it work, I'm going to take it off. All right. I'm going to plug it back in without the ferrite choke on it. Make sure it's nice and straight right there. No bend, no nothing. I'm going to try to connect. There you go. See, not connecting now. But let's see just for the heck of it if I bend it down again. Put it just like this. Let's see if it'll connect now. Well, now it's not wanting to when it's bent. But regardless, put that ferrite choke on there, and uh, you won't have that issue anymore. Clips right onto it. Simple, simple little clip. But yeah, that's all you need. Ferrite choke. Like I said, I'm going to put the link in the description of, of what I got. Um, that was for my whole radio application a while back. Um, maybe you can find something else on eBay, but like I said, I'm just going to put a link on there to what I got so you guys can get it so you don't have that issue that I ran into and you don't have to wrap aluminum foil around it and make it look, you know, all ghetto and everything. So I, I like this better because it looks more, you know, professional. It looks like an actual product. Same thing you'd have like on a older style laptop charger or, you know, for a different laptop, you would have a ferrite choke. So it gets out all the noise on the on the DC power lines. So hope you guys like that video. Um, you know, if you do, comment, like, subscribe. I know I don't do videos that often. It's very rare for me to do videos, but you know, uh, just do it, and you might see something interesting someday. And you know, like I said, just got a comment. Drop a comment down there, and if you like the video, like it. If you didn't put a dislike <laughs> but you know i just thought i'd help you guys out with that so yeah thank you for watching